Will the clerk please call the roll? Free Elder Dina Cola. Here. Free Elder Felice. Present. Free Elder Gans. Aye. Free Elder Sullivan. Here. Free Elder Tonelli. Here. Free Elder Zor. Here. Chairman Vaz. Here. You all please rise and let us all honor America by saying the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge, pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please read the minutes. That's all there is on this. Uh, Ray Welsh. Hello, everyone. My name is Ray Welsh. I live in Paramus, New Jersey, at the Harrison House. I am the resident manager there, and I work for Buddies of New Jersey. And we are celebrating 30 years, officially, more than 30 years, of uh, eliminating the effects of HIV and AIDS in Bergen County. And I'd like to thank everybody here and your predecessors for being partners with us and allowing us to do the good work that we do. Um, and tonight I bring uh, some people who are uh, residents and some people who are community supporters from as far as Fort Lee all the way up to Mawa and everywhere in between. And um, some are here just to support, but other people would like to let you know a little bit of what we're doing at Harrison House, which is on Bergen Regional um, Hospitals, uh, Medical Center's campus. And uh, we were made aware several weeks ago that there is a road that needs to be widened. And what they basically told us was is that they had to come in with about 15 feet into the house um, property instead of going across the street where there's nothing but trees and grass. The major issue, according to the architects, is that there's something to do with a pump house. Now, I really don't understand all that, but um, what we'd like to do is to somehow let you understand how important the garden is, not just to the residents and to the community, but um, to Bergen County as a whole. And um, if there's another way to keep the integrity of the garden, you know, Tracy came to our 30th anniversary party, and I appreciate that, and we've had other sentiments from other freeholders, and we know that you guys are committed. We just want to let you know who we are, because we haven't been here in a very long time, and we also want to let you know why your work and your support is so important. Thank you. Joe um, Gonzalez yes. is the person who created the Garden of Hope. Joe, would you come up, please? This is what we're here for. A couple months ago, there was a person outside, there was a person outside the house ma doing some measurements. I wanted to ask what's going on. They're going to build the road in front of the house. If they're going to cut half of the property, it's going to go away. The garden that I built for four years, I put so much passion and into it. It's a, it's a place where everybody benefits, the people from the hospital, the community, and myself. And they brought a lot of attention to a lot of people. I don't know what's going to be, I, I want to know what's going to be, what's going to happen when we stand there. Thank you. And I have been some photos here that I want to see for somebody to look at it. And, uh, it took me four years, four years, four and a half years. <coughs> when I first moved in there, was nothing there. It was nothing but grass and dust. Stone by stone. I put every one of those stones there. There's got to be like 500 stones painted by him, one by one. And um, I have nothing else to say. We have a lot of people here that um, they can't wait me to say the things the rest of us. May I just add, I know Joe prepared and he's a little nervous right now, but the garden was made in honor of Steve Ster Sherman, who's our late director, uh, who was with us for like 15 years, a lot of you know him, and for Marianne Collins, who uh, was with Hackensack University almost forever, and she was on our um, housing committee for many, many years, and we appreciate you for honoring him. Thank you very much. <coughs> Roberto Cabanas. Oh, 
uh, CABA NAS. Um, good evening, everyone. Uh, that was my Uncle Joe. Um, he's been working on this garden for four years. I thank Buddies of New Jersey for doing a tremendous job and giving people uh, another chance to live, right? In essence, this is a community that is oftentimes voiceless and is afraid to come out of the shadows, which is why we're here today because this garden means so much to them. Basically, the ask today is, which hasn't been provided to Buddies of New Jersey, is a democratic process to have a discussion when they're gonna make these changes onto the property. We understand that the property was donated by the county um, and we definitely appreciate that. But there are residents here who live there every day, who garden every day, the nurses who come out, visit the garden, and so many others who this garden has done so, so much good for. The only thing that we're asking for from the freeholders or the folks who have the power is to give this group an opportunity to voice their concerns about this project. I mean, I can't imagine anyone coming into uh, my neighborhood in North Arlington and building, building out one of our roads or building eight feet into my, my property without having a discussion with me and my family first. And that's what I think needs, that's, that's really what this is all about, is if we are going to have this kind of development in this property, that we engage the residents that live on the property before we make those kinds of deci decisions. Um, and there's other folks who will speak to uh, some of the other things and the, you know, really the details of what this garden means to them. But really all I'm asking for is a process uh, that engages the residents who live here before going on to making these types of decisions that really do impact every person that lives in that home. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Sharon, is it Goach? Good evening, everyone. My name is Sharon Gooch again. Um, Buddies is special to me because they have been an enormous help to my daughter. I worked at Bergen Pines from 84 to 97, and it was just Harrison House. When I went to visit my daughter, there was this humongous garden, and you could see the love and just the love that Mr. Joe puts in that garden. And when you sit, it's just beautiful. A garden is more than just a garden, especially for my guys there. It's their hope, their peace. It's just, when you sit in a garden, you just, beauty. And at this time in their life, that's what they need. And that's all I have to say. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you very much. Sister Barbara Iolette, is that? A Y D E L O T T E. Good evening. Good evening, Good evening sister. sister. One My sister. name is Sister Barbara Adelaide. Sister, sister, yes. Can we just wait one second. Please. Sure. With respect, to, with respect to the exhibits, these beautiful pictures of this beautiful garden, I would ask that they be reproduced in their entirety in the record. Okay. Thank you. My name is Sister Barbara Adelaide, mm -hmm. and I'm here in support of Mr. Joe Gonzalez and the Garden of Hope. The Garden of Hope has been a source of healing and has transformed those as well as those who have received. We hear the phrase, take time and smell the flowers. I'm not here on a crusade to promote flower power or save the pansies, but I'm here to see the continued growth and healing of the inner spirit. Where there is despair, let me sow hope. Notice the word, so. We hear the word hope constantly, and we use it constantly. Hope, she pulls through. Hope it doesn't rain. Hope it doesn't snow. 
I sure hope they find a cure. <coughs> hope. What if there was no hope? <coughs> to hear the words, I'm sorry, there's nothing that the doctor can do. Or, I'm sorry, but he or she has three months to live. That can send a person in a downhill spiral of despair. What would those words do to each one of us if our ears were the ones hearing it? I've been coming to Harrison House since 1993, and the conditions were very depressing. Literally, it was a place to come and die because your family didn't want you, or you were afraid to get close to people because you didn't have anywhere else to go. The walls within the house were dull and depressing and barren, and food was left literally leftovers that no one wanted to use. So it was forwarded to the house. At that time, I was not a nun, but an employee of the Federal Bureau of Investigation and a lay Franciscan. One of the Franciscans who assisted and ministered to Harrison House was Lenora Mosca of St. Anne's in Fairlawn and Bergen County Council of Churches. It then became our goal and ministry as Franciscans to alleviate the pain and suffering of our brothers and sisters. Yes, they are our brothers and sisters. We would make meals for them along with other churches in the area and try to lift the human spirit. And for me, it brought me great joy and purpose in my life, so much so that I left the FBI and became a sister. I met Joe Gonzalez a few years ago, and we instantly became friends. Three minutes, sister. I'm sorry? Three minutes, sister. Three minutes? Yes. I'm not it's stopping her. Don't stop her. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, yes. <laughs> Just saying, <laughs> sister, you can take as long as you want. <laughs> I met Joe Gonzalez a few years ago, and we instantly became friends. His creativity ranges from being a chef on the Food Network, having cooked with Guy Fieri, yes, Guy Fieri, and gardening. He tends his garden, and it gives him hope and purpose in life. He was deep in depression when he came to Harrison House, being given only a few months to live. His gardening not only involves flowers, but produce as well. Joe harvests that produce and shares it with those who come to the house. He creates meals, freezing them for when people do not show up or donate a meal. Out it comes and it's ready for the house. His flowers bring me joy. He takes pictures of all the flowers. He'll tell you who came, who didn't come, and you should see his face light up. He'll give you a grand tour of the garden, and these include the hospital patients, assisted living patients, the vets across the way, our wounded warriors, and a police officer with no arms or legs. It gives them joy. Not to mention the bus driver who slows up when approaching the house so that his passengers can take it all in. Joe will tell you about each flower, how to plant it, when to plant it, and who pays for all of this? Joe, from his own pocket. He'll tell me updates of the garden and show pictures. I tell him, look, Joe, look what you're doing. You're giving hope, you're giving joy to everybody, and it's causing a ripple effect. And he just looks. It's the ripple effect. Let us sow hope. In 2010, it was hope that gave 33 minors the will to live and survived 
who were trapped in a mine in Chile for 17 days. It was hope that gave Amanda Berry, Michelle Knight, and Gina de Jesus the will to live and break free from Ariel Castro in 2014 after 10 years of captivity. And it's hope that gives Joe Gonzalez the will to live a purpose-driven life. Take away a person's reason to live and purpose in life, and I guarantee, as true as I stand here, you will see that person go down a downhill spiral into depression. Harrison House and Bergen Regional Medical Center have been transforming places from Fort Lee to Mawa, becoming a source of healing a source of information for those with HIV and AIDS. I would like to make a suggestion that in altering the roadway, that the integrity and the structure of the house be maintained, possibly altering the opposite side of the street instead, preserving God, uh, Joe's garden of hope and the integrity of the house. Be mindful that Joe is also handicapped and has problems with his legs. So I ask your consideration in preserving the integrity of the house. So I would like to end by asking all of us, what gives us joy in life? What gives you hope to keep on going? And what kind of ripple effect is it creating? I thank you all for your time and your attention. And may the Lord give you his peace. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. I just had a flashback back to grammar school. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Ralph Curry. Come back to follow around. Uh, good evening. Uh, I was just saying that that was going to be a tough act to follow. But, um, but my name's Ralph Curry, and um, I'm the chair of the bill. I'd like to get her up here for my, my little pitch. Um, I'm the chair of the Village of Ridgewood's Open Space Committee, and am here to ask for your support of Ridgewood's application for a grant from the Bergen County Open Space Trust Fund to begin